Hi everyone, so today I thought I would do a kind of how I organise my cupboards, pantry sort of video. I'm not necessarily going to show you my whole kitchen and I will actually leave a um, an old video of my kitchen tour basically. Um, it's very similar to what I'm going to show you now. I suppose a few bits have probably changed over the couple of years we've been here. Um, but I thought I'd just show you. I probably spend the most time in my kitchen. I'm probably here like 90% of the day. <laughs> that sounds a lot, doesn't it? Maybe 60%. I do spend a lot of time in the kitchen just cooking and just, it's kind of our, I don't know, we, you know, we eat here every single, like three times a day and I don't know, I love my kitchen to be honest. I'm just a big foodie and yeah, I love my kitchen. I love the space. It's just really spacious and airy and I thought I'd show you inside my cupboards and how I organise things. It's probably also the most organised room, I think, out of the house. Again, because I think I'm in control of it and it's my place I thoroughly enjoy to be in. I like to have everything in its place. Um, so yeah, hopefully it can give you some ideas if you're looking how to organise your cupboards. I don't actually have a, like a proper pantry like I used to, so I just have like a really big cupboard that I pretty much just store like all the food stuff, like items in, like dry stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll get on and I will show you. So, you've probably seen these doors before. They've actually started dropping. You can probably see that, that door is actually started dropping, which I've already said to Graham. You know, being here two years, I'm not really happy about it, so I think he's gonna have to sort that out. Um, but yeah, so this is basically a double, um, when I, you know, when we sort of designed the kitchen, I wanted something that was really, um, like a big cupboard, like a pantry. So this is basically full of everything that I use. Um, and how I've organized it, because we have the shelf at the top, I have so much baking stuff. I bake so much and it's, I suppose it's quite a big hobby for me. So I basically just organize my baking stuff at the top and I've actually used all these little um, containers from Ikea. I think they're about a pound each. They do come with lids, although the lids are rubbish. They do not stay on, but I didn't need the lids anyway, so I bought them all like separately. Um, <clears throat> so we have flours, we have sugars, we have like the baking components, I suppose, like vanillas, baking powder, that sort of thing, um, yeast. Um, and then over here we have like the icings and also like cupcake uh, cases. I have tons of those. Um, so that's that bit and then over here we pretty much just have a whole ray of sprinkles kind of sprinkle obsessed um yeah so that's pretty much baking stuff and then down here i have one little wicker basket it's just like i don't know it just fitted there perfectly with the rest of them and that's pretty much like crackers and bread and um, popcorn you can see from the grace boxes at the back we have just extra miscellaneous bits like um like pop doms some more like popcorn uh, kernels and some chocolate chips and then at the back we have like tin stuff mainly see the tin stuff we don't have much to be honest but sometimes I like to like stock up with like bits just to keep it you know if I'm like doing a like random dinner um, like put together I've got some extra cupcake cases here which don't fit at the top coconut oil we have a little container full of stock cubes like different ones and some thickeners back there and then at the front um, again, just using the little IKEA storage boxes. I've labelled some of them, just not all of them, because some of them I've just added in. Um, <coughs> but here we have like uh, peanut butters and Nutella and different spreads and stuff that don't necessarily need to be in the fridge, like jams. Um, so yeah, we've got honey. And then here it says sauces and pastes, which is basically what it is. Um, some of these aren't even open, so I keep them here. Um, like the mustard, we haven't even opened that. Um, a couple of like random fajita kits and bread sauce. That was from Christmas that I never used because mother-in-law came to the rescue. Um, just some seasonings, not many really. Um, I do have a separate spice rack actually um, on the counter. And then over here we have just like lasagna sheets, quinoa, some like rice noodles and yeah, more la lasagna sheets. And then over here we have rices and pulses which is basically like couscous, rices, um, some more pasta, just randomly macaroni. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my like pantry cupboard, I'd say. That's like the basics, the staples that I use pretty much every single day. 
and that's how I um, like to organize it. And then I also show you another door cupboard that I use, which is this one. This one actually, because this is a breakfast bowl, it actually um, continues like to the back. So it's really, really long. It's a really long cupboard, so I can like shove loads of stuff in the back. But this is another cupboard that I use loads. So uh, this is like this is like the biggest style of the um, boxes. I think these ones are like two pounds or two fifty. But this is fruits, nuts, and seeds. It's literally what it is. I have like protein powder there, and like basic seeds and nuts and raisins and stuff um, for like smoothies and just snacking for me mainly. Um, some for, sometimes for the kids. I've got my chia there and my flaxseed just in little jars just to make life easier for me than opening bags extra milks that I like to use these ones can don't have to be in the fridge and then we've got extra baking supplies like a massive bag of icing sugar um, coconut flour and that's a big box of tea bags um, but Graham bought randomly I asked him to get some from the shop and he basically just bought a huge box so that's back there don't drink a lot of tea really but um, and then we've got another one of those wicker baskets and then we've got this one this one's from ikea um but this is basically full of like oils and vinegars and stuff like that some for cooking i suppose um and then again we've just got extra baking stuff as you can see um a huge huge box of like cookie cutters use those over the years and then we've got wines and sort of alcohol at the back we don't really drink to be honest so this really doesn't really get used or topped up but I do like to use wine sometimes, like red wine for like cooking. And then here we just have some Tassimo pods that um, are kind of miscellaneous ones that we haven't used in ages and just some backup like Americanos and stuff. So that is that cupboard. And then, yeah, basically my sides look like this. I don't have much on my counter apart from like electricals and, you know, just the basics really. And then like this cupboard is, I've recently just kind of reorganized this one. Um, because I had like mixture of things and I thought just make it all sort of household useful stuff that I use um, So we've got like casserole dishes. We've got a whole load of salt up there. That's a play-doh Casserole dishes uh, gravy pots just random bowls and stuff that I like to use serving dishes like pretty ones like star ones and stuff and then we have my little mason um, glass of smoothies um, I have extra ones up there you can kind of see because we don't use them all, sometimes it's great for when people come over, but generally we don't need them, all of them out for us. It's just no point. So some of them just stay up there. I do actually want to get some baskets to put them in, just, just to hide them a bit. But that will come at some point. And then we've got some bowls, bowls, and then some more like, you know, useful bits that you do use in your house. My apple peeler, grater, um, like toothpick things. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that cupboard and this one is basically full of like teas coffees extra bits extra pods um, If anyone wants to like a herbal tea, I've got like every single tea you can think of back there um, With extra bits these are I always Use like bits and bobs like this from like different hotels and then I can use them while on holiday Just like I can grab it and it's basically good to go for while we're on holiday because we do a lot of glamping around summer so this one is basically like i'd say mummy and daddy snacks kind of the bad not bad bad but like the baddest sort of stuff here's full of like dried fruit like naked bars and stuff um yeah rice cakes and then up here we have the biscuit tin up high away from the kids and then this is like the kids snacks which is a lot of bears and rice cakes mainly i think i can't really see but yeah that's basically like the snack cupboard and then here we have uh cereals so we do have some cereals down there um but we also have a lot up here as well so um we use like this pot for the kids um i just put a lot of like mixed cereals in there just recently because there's loads of just loads of bits here and there um we've got some granolas and then i've got a load of these mama porridges to use up actually at the moment and there's some like on the go ones so porridges and then we have this is just, as you can see, you know, body shop box, but it's handy for like different things. We've got some granolas in here, more granolas and porridge. So yeah, that's basically like the porridge and granola cereal cupboard. I'll show you how I organize my sort of top drawer. 
Um, this thing does shuffle about a bit. But I do have um, some of that non-moving stuff, but it still moves. Anyway, so the IKEA, this is actually from IKEA, this sort of wooden organizer. The kids cutleries on this side. We've got these little Norfen thingies for when the kids are ill. Um, syringes, that's what they are. And then we've got these IKEA clips, which I use for everything. We've got sharper knives um, at the back and just, just random scissors and stuff that I use quite frequently, I suppose. I'll show you this drawer as well. This is basically um, another drawer that I'm in and out of during cooking and stuff. It's full of loads of utensils. This is also from Ikea, it's like the bigger version. There is a smaller version you can get, I think it's five pounds. Um, just like random utensils, like useful stuff. Some more cookie cutters, I've got so many. I've got some napkins and some like storage bags, cling film, you know, the random measuring cups. Um, what are they, rolling pins as well is in there. Yeah. So yeah, that's a very useful drawer. This, I think this drawer is actually supposed to be for like saucepans and stuff, but I prefer to use it for this. It's a lot more um, accessible than having loads of little drawers I found. This last one I show you, not the most organized, but it's basically for the Tupperware. A whole load of Tupperware, I've got so much. We've, these are also, um, these are actually drawer storage dividers for your clothing and stuff, but I use them in, in everywhere to be honest. There's loads of different sizes. And they're basically just Tupperware containers or holders that it just makes life easier to just pull them out um, instead of having lots of Tupperware scattered everywhere, although I do have a, a bit over here. Um, my thermal flasks. And then up here is basically full of medicines. Um, we have medicine, just an old, again, really old Tupperware container and this one's pretty much just full of the like kitty stuff um there so that is pretty much that cupboard so i hope you've enjoyed this video it's basically to show you how i store things i suppose um not necessarily the most accessible the way i store things but i mean i know where everything is so it's just normal to me um we obviously all have those cupboards that are pretty bad i do have one really bad cupboard actually, which I'm not going to show you, but it's it's just horrendous. And sometimes I think, how do I go about it? I need to reorganise it, and I probably I probably should do a video on it actually and how I reorganise it because it's one of those cupboards that it has such a mishmash of stuff in. But I need somewhere to store the stuff, so they ha it has to be together. But it's just a mess. It's just an absolute mess. Whenever I tackle it, it still stays a mess. But yeah, I think that will probably come in the future when I decide to tackle it, when I've got a bit more time. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know any video requests you want to see, if it's household you know, stuff or whatever. Um, yeah, and I will see you soon.